So Psalm 34. Cool. Psalm 34. This was a time that was difficult for David. Um, wasn't so much flying high at this. It was a very low point for him. Um, it was when he sought refuge with the Philistine king of Gath, Achish. Um, you see that in First Samuel 21. Um, David was on the run from King Saul at that point. Um, but he was absolutely saved and delivered by God's grace. And we are, aren't we? We're saved by his grace. So maybe we can see being born again in this psalm. So it says, I will bless Adonai at all times. His praise. <laughs> see? <laughs> Keeping me humble, yeah. Semi-pro as ever. Yeah. Yeah. Same pro as ever. Anyway, bless Adonai. And his praise is continually in my mouth. That's where we should be at at all times now. It's only going worldwide. It's okay. Who cares? Is this a face that's bothered? Face bothered. His praise will always be in my mouth. There is no language. There is no tongue. There is no literature. There is no song. No teaching, any word, anywhere that can adequately express the greatness of our God. Is that a fair statement? As humans, we'll never, ever be able to adequately thank him. We really, really need to get our heads around that. It's us that does the sinning. And it's him that does the saving. I will bless Adonai. My soul boasts in Adonai. The humble ones hear of it and they rejoice. That would be us then. When I boast, it will be about Adonai. Shaul said the same thing, didn't he? So did Jeremiah. It was Adonai that said through him, the wise man should not boast of his wisdom, the powerful in his power, the wealthy in his wealth. Instead, let the boaster boast about this, that he understands and he knows me, that I am Adonai. So it's not good to boast unless it's about Adonai, right? And David had been humbled at this point. He's acting like a madman. He's frothing at the mouth. So he knows, he knows what it was, it was like to be brought down low. And he will boast about the Lord. The humble will hear of it and be glad. Not the proud, the humble. They'll relate true believers, meaning true believers, true people of God. David's overwhelmed by the greatness of Adonai. So he says, magnify Adonai with me, proclaim with me. Let's exalt him together. Let's exalt us, his name together. Amen. I saw Adonai and he answered me. And he delivered me from all my fears. And he does. They who look to him with radiant... They, I'm sorry, they don't put my teeth back in. They who look to him were radiant. And the faces will never be ashamed. The poor man cried, and Adonai heard, and saved him out of his troubles. Poor, poor spiritually, nothing to do with your bank account. 
He's humbled, he's broken, he's contrite. Humbled, broken and contrite. Sounds like a Morrison budget, but it's actually God's economy. That's how the kingdom rolls. Adonai hears and he saves from all his troubles. All his troubles. The angel of Adonai encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good Adonai is. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. The angel of Adonai who camps around those who fear and he delivers. So not only does he save, he keeps, right? He camps around you. I don't know, he camps around you. So where's your fear? Where's your fear? You've got to start operating in who you are. If you say you're born again. Don't you? You either believe it or you don't. He saves and he keeps. He keeps us. Taste and see. You don't know how good something is until you take a bite, do you? So many don't know God because they don't take that bite. When you do, you'll see that he is good. And blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear Adonai, his Kedoshim, Kedoshim, holy ones. For those who fear him, lack nothing. It's not about religion. It's not about denominationalism. It's not about coming here and, and thinking, oh, I'm going to learn all about the feasts. You will, but that's not what it's about. So, so much more. This is a universe. It's about the old and the new all together. We believe in the word of God, don't we? Genesis to maps. You've got to know who Yeshua is. More importantly, do what he says. Do what he says. He's our example. So if we figure out what he did and then try and do it, we might be on the right path. That's called being holy. That's called being sanctified. If you want the seminary word. We follow Messiah. He's the king, right? And those who seek him lack nothing. He saves us. He keeps us. And he provides for us. And do you know what else? He teaches us. Young lions may lack, go hungry, see? But those who seek out an eye want for no good thing. He provides. Come, children, listen to me. I'll teach you the fear of Adonai. Who's the one who delights in life and loves to see good days? One who delights in life, loves to see good days. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking treachery. Depart from evil and do what is good. Seek shalom, pursue it. Don't get caught in evil, turn. Turn away from the gossip, turn away from the unforgiveness. Don't have a part of it. Seek peace. Go after it. Be aggressive in being a peacemaker. You see, blessed are the who? The broker of peace. Look to be someone who reconciles. Walk in the way. Be a peacemaker. The eyes of Adonai are on the righteous. 
and his ears are attentive to the cry. The face of Adonai is against evildoers to cut off the memory of them from the earth when he comes back very soon. The righteous cry out and Adonai hears. He delivers them from all their troubles. He saved them from all the troubles. You will have troubles. You will. He will save you out of the troubles, but you will have trouble. Oh Lord, please make everything go well. Please make everybody safe. Well, things don't always go well, do they? But having faith through that, that's called picking up your cross. Got to get real now. I don't know, he's close to the broken hide. He saves those crushed in spirit. That's what today's about. Not the cool, not the hip, not the trendy, not the top knot brigade. I used to say those with tat sleeves and blue gets all narky about it, so I've got to watch that now. <laughs> You've got to understand how he operates. He doesn't fit into the way we operate. And things don't change. False, pro false prophets still pew, they speak, pff, spew the lies, speak illusions. Still the same. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. It has to line up with the word. It has to line up with his word. If it doesn't, forget it. He saves those who are crushed. Many are the distresses of the righteous. But Adonai delivers him out of them. He will suffer many evils. Much more than the world. But the kicker is in those sufferings. They're only confined to this life. There's a peace that surpasses all understanding. It doesn't come from the things of the world. It does not. This world is fleeting. But we tend to put everything into it, don't we? This has been a shake in this COVID crap. It's focused a lot of people on it. My home, my kids, my car, my pension. I want to go here, I want to do that. So your focus turns here and there and it's not on eternity where it should be. When you've got an eternal vision, that's when you'll find that peace that surpasses all understanding. There's nothing in the world that can give you that. Nothing. It's your soul that prospers, not your bank account. Thank God that doctrine's fell over. Many, many evils, but Adonai will rescue you out of them all. Keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil kills the wicked. Those who hate the righteous will be held guilty. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. We are saved, we are kept, we are provided for, we are instructed. 
and we are satisfied in this life and the next for all eternity. Live in that and see how you walk. That's the blessing of being born again, isn't it? That's the God worth praising. That's why we come, isn't it? He's so worthy of all the praise. All the worship, it's right and it's good. There might come a time soon when we can't do this. They can switch churches off like that. And they've got away with it. Nobody said boo, did they? I don't think we're immune because we're not. There'll be a time, it's not far away when I can't say and do certain things. Bible related, that'll be hate speech. The truth will become illegal. We are not immune from that. We could get persecuted. People are getting persecuted in Australia. In Australia. It's under the radar, but it is happening. Conservative Christian values, traditional values, libertarian values. You can get arrested for walking around in an Australian flag now. Wake up. Wake up. We're under immense attack. People might turn away in fear. And fear's a liar. Fear is a liar. And we've got to draw a line and make a stand for what we know to be true. That's where your faith's going to come in. That's what we're trying to build. Make it real deal. And when it all goes south, you can still stand there and say, thank you, Father. All is well in my soul. That's where we've got to be at. Those who hate the righteous, they will be held guilty. And they are guilty as charged. Adonai redeems the soul of his servants. And no one who takes refuge in him will be held guilty. So, Father, it's our joy. It's what we're all about. We set apart today. We get your undivided attention today and we're here to give you ours Father there's so many needs, so many problems, so much baggage I pray Father you remove those things by the power of the Holy Spirit, fill these tabernacles with your Holy Spirit today, manifest your presence Father in every tabernacle here let's just focus on you today let us be your broken servants, Father, contrite in heart, the ones that attract your spirit. So worthy to be praised, we bless your holy name for clothing us in the righteousness of Messiah, your son, Yeshua, HaMashiach. And in his name, Yeshua HaMashiach, Yeshua HaNatzaret, Yeshua HaKadosh, Melech Yisrael, He is our Sash Shalom. In his name, Bashem Yeshua Mishakainu, we pray. We love your Father. Amen.